Hey guys, what is going on? So, it is Tuesday and I haven't actually been vlogging since yesterday, um, since yesterday, since Sunday, um, which is really bad. I should have really been um, out here vlogging because that's what I promised you guys. I promised you guys vlogs and I haven't. Yesterday, I just could not be bothered. Today, guys, a whole fiasco has happened. So, your girl's car got stolen. Yeah, um, I'm literally just about to film some, um, what would you call it, some stuff for a client. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to film and then I'm going to come straight back and talk to you guys about the ordeal that I had to go through today. But I wanted to make sure that I pick up the camera just so that even after I don't get lazy or I don't get whatever and make up excuses as to why I cannot vlog. But I'm going to come back and explain to you guys exactly what happened in a minute. So I'll be back. All right, y'all, all right, your girl's back. Your girl's been inconsistent this week, but like I said before, some stuff has been happening, and I'm gonna sit down and explain the story in a bit. But first of all, your girl is back in that house, okay? And we is here, the house is a mess, so I ain't gonna show y'all what the hell be going on up in this place. But I just made my um, soon-to-be husband some breakfast. I made him some um, breakfast. Let me show you what. Let me show you what I made him because you know we chef it up in this house. We got an omelet over here. Okay, this is like you know a really nice omelet. Inside is spinach, cheese, um, onion, tomato, and some other stuff. We got some bacon on this side. We got some sausage, and we got some um, baked um, sweet potato and some potato. You know, gotta make you know breakfast good enough for a king. So you know, made that for him. Um, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Father, Lord, bless you. It's my name. Amen. It's Eve. <laughs> my guy ain't even waiting for me. How rude. Can you get your plate? The disrespect. Oh, we have a bread. Huh? I close. Oh, do you want bread? Not really. No? No. No? Oh, what, you doing keto? No, no, no. I don't really eat bread. Right. Egg and bread. Egg and bread, that's like your So, I wanted some salad. Let's have some bread because it will be bastos. That other bread didn't go off though. Yes, it did. Oh, yeah, it did in the end. Yeah, because we didn't, we didn't finish it. Well, there was. um. I knew not even got these big packs. Ooh, this salad has been here for a while, so. Yep, I know, I'm using my hands. You guys are going to call me savage, whatever. But I've been chomping it down now. I can see. There was like more than one container filled with salad, yeah. so. I'm actually very proud of you. It's good because I know if I don't do this, you probably will not be eating vegetables. I have vegetables, not salad. Okay, well, salad then. And I had, actually, let me check my freezer. Okay, so up here, ice cream, there's still pizza, there's still wings, and there's still chicken. There's plenty of chicken, which is good. Hey guys, obviously, I'm the first guest officially in the house. All of you guys out there um, sleeping. I'm out here with my first guest. No, he was not. First guest to sleep over in the house. Oh, to yeah. sleep over, yeah. yeah. Let them know what's going on. Because obviously, they're trying, to, they're trying to make my item a little bit lower. It's not like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> obviously, everyone out there is going to stash you lot. Not a roll on you. Not on that. I'm going to ask Blissy to put the picture of us when we was younger when you was put this. Barely. All right, I'll, I'll send, send it and I'll, I'll get the guys. Yeah, but the house is lovely, man. Like. Yo, the bathroom. Obviously, I saw so bread. I'm gonna do a little review. So far, the service has been amazing. Bathroom is actually splendid. We have yes. um, you know over like, here. Oh, Neither did I. And he is. You know when they used to give you the little cartons of milk in school? You know that, I was that person that said. Right. So he's. We basically we're an oatmeal only oat milk. Sorry, oh, only house. And he's about to try the milk. He's such a drama queen. He's such a drama queen. Such a, you're not going to taste drama it queen. though. What's wrong with you? <laughs> when I had, no, your, just taste when it. I had your dirty beet ridges, did I do all this stuff you're doing right now? <laughs> such an exaggeration. <laughs> so exaggerated, you know it actually tastes alright. I don't like milk by itself. Mm. He's not having it. Just a serum. You should have, if you had it with cereal, you'll realize how nice it is. Can I see the. It's not that bad, but mm, not my type of thing. Mm. Oat milk is good, though. It's better than normal milk. Is it? Can you try oat milk with cereal when you have it? Oh, 
No, almond no. milk is butter. Almond milk is butter. Then you let it in there? Yeah. It's at the bottom. Another day, another dinner. Say hi to the vlog, guys. Hello. I'm trying to have food. Should be nice, let me. Today, guys, obviously, as I'm being a guest, I made the chicken. Uh, I what? made the plantain as well. You didn't make nothing. Do the press. Do the press with the heat, bro. I am Bella. I'm pushing on my kid. Do the prayer, man. That's when I'm here, bro. I got you. Go and pray. Stop your talking, bro. Stop your comments. You do the prayer, fam. Is this the few snaps snap, like pie, bro? God, Ben, what's wrong? People are gonna think that I don't know how to cook rice. Can you just put a filter or something? Alright, cool. Um, just in my walk, man. Boy, if you don't, oh, just pray. pray. You guys are all done. No, grace. Corona. Pray. Oh goodness. We're a corona free house in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Anyway, Heavenly <clears throat> Father, thank you for one for food. Mm -hmm. We glorify you, Lord Almighty, bless the hands you made the food and bless wherever mm -hmm. the food came from. Mm -hmm. And we enjoy it. And it will go down wonderfully, all this and more in Jesus' mighty name, as we say. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. So yeah, I don't burn rice. It's just that this is the bottom part, the Ben script. <clears throat> and I, w I didn't have anything to do with it. Okay? It's Ooh, literally the, the bottom stuff. part. You guys brought the good Yeah, and the good plates as well, so thank you. Oh, is it for my thing or not? Oh, I always forget. Is it for my thing? Yeah, you're right, you can feel the difference. No, there's a massive difference. Yeah, They're just nicer. It's a shiny. It's a shiny. It's the final countdown. Ah! What? Hot. What's up? Hot. 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 You know, you're always being captured screaming on camera. It's not going anywhere, bro. Relax. Eat the way that you were eating before. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't have it. That's why I read it. Bang, it's still. Bang. Bang. <laughs> Embarrass me in front of the world. What can I do? <laughs> Enjoy it, yeah? No, it's a bang. It's actually bang. I can't lie to you. Okay, now that Popo has... Now, my kimbo is so sweet. You always got bad. Listen. got you guys in one position and not having to struggle i'm gonna go over into the kitchen um because we've got some guests over some very special guests who i'm going to be introducing in a second and um, ben's going to be cooking so before i do that i thought let me just quickly explain to you guys what happened in my car because i have been very rubbish the past couple of days i haven't really been in the mood to be filming too tough i can't even lie um and so i've just been filming things you know bits and pieces here and there but basically on tuesday it's now friday Tuesday, imagine guys, no, Monday. Monday I drove to work. I was just being lazy, so I drove to work. I come home, I remember exactly what I did. I went to McDonald's drive through because even though I don't like eat McDonald's, I like the only things I can eat from there, because McDonald's actually makes me feel sick, like makes me throw up. The only thing I can eat from there is anything that's like not their meats or their proper food food. I can only have their mozzarella dippers, and you might say, but that's still food. It is but it's not their meat. I don't know what it is about their meat. It just doesn't agree with me. So that and their, um, so I had mozzarella dippers. Then I stopped at the chicken chip shop because I wanted chicken chips, so I got chicken chips. Then I parked up my car, saw a bunch of guys outside, you know, you know that my, my house before I move real soon, you know, is in a very inner city area. I live in the ghetto. So there was all these bag of boys, outside or whatever so i always make sure i double lock my car i just press it twice whatever parked up the car imagine guys i wake up tuesday morning get ready for work i'm even on time i'm even early i'm like yes today's gonna be a good day i'm early da, 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 da. about eight o'clock i go downstairs i look and i'm like where's my car <laughs> you know what one of them ones where you think that you're going mad like you you i'm like did i forget where i parked but i literally remembered and anyone that knows me knows that my memory is not that great but I remembered this like step by step for some reason. I just happened to remember. And I said, no, 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 I know where I parked my car. Guys, my car was gone. I walked around the area like maybe three or four times just to double check to make sure that I didn't move it somewhere. I didn't park it elsewhere or whatever. But literally guys, as I slept in the night, thieves came and they stole my whole car. So 
so I was really upset. I started crying. And my mom was just like, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Like, you know, being a mum, comforting and all that. And I cried a little bit. And then I was just like, oh, it's gone now. What can I do? But one thing I did want to say was that, guys, the power of the tongue is mad. Because for the past, let's say, week and a bit, myself and Ben have been having this conversation where he started to look for a new car for me. I've just been saying, I want a new car, I want a new car, I want a new car, I want a new car. Um, because my car burns a lot of petrol and it costs me a lot of money. So I wanted a diesel car so that it can save me money in terms of petrol. And because I just wanted an upgrade anyway. I've had that car for about two, I've had it for more than two years now. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to kind of tell you guys a story properly. Because I keep saying to you guys, my car got stolen and I am yet to properly explain it. So that was the explanation. I'll tell you about how my thoughts and feelings probably later on down the line. But for now, we're here with a couple of special people. <laughs> Manza and Manza. <laughs> We've got Ben number two. His name is actually Ben, like legit Ben. And then we have the king, Jeremiah. Bow! Right here. And we have, okay, so Jeremiah is the second king, but the first original king. My babes. My babes. Oh, babe, you started already. Huh? You started already. I don't know. Yeah. How dare you start without me? Anyway, so babe, can you talk us through? Because today we stepped into Ben's kitchen. Ben had a, a desire to cook today. In fact, let me read this Yo, guys, you know, you know, you know where it was? A little bit. I'm eating you a little bit. You man. You know where it is, yeah? Yeah. I'm a good cook, and I cook. Are you there? But there's a few. She's just chatting the most behind the camera. I might even be better than you. Um, wow! Really, babe? Is that what you're saying? Do you know what we're going to do? Cook off. Soon come. Because Ben keeps talking the hardest. And I need, I need like, real proof to show you. But, um, yeah. I've always wanted to make, um, like, KFC-style chicken. I've yeah. never tried to. But, let me try it. Let me see what happens. Yeah. I just realised as well, babe. It was, it, we should have let the seasoning sit in it. I'm gonna let it sit. Oh, you're gonna leave it? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, what do you want to do? Alright, so what talk, walk us through the, the chicken at the moment and how you seasoned it and what you put in it and all of that jazz. I've seen it. I can't tell you how I season it. I don't know. What? You, you know how I season it. I don't know. So Ben is one of those people that just flings stuff. I think it's a man, I heard someone talking about it the other day and they were like, how is a man's thing? Like, you guys just fling stuff in and you're just like, hope for the best. It's, it's true. I don't know what I put in it. Yeah. Don't ask me what I put in it because I don't know what I put in it. Oh, it looks good. Looks good. So then what happens next? What's the next step? I don't know. I don't know how you make this. I'm going to go on my laptop now <laughs> and then find out. I know it's flour and egg in it because the, the egg is what keeps the, the, the flour. I have no idea. I can't lie. No. Actually, no, it is egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I think I've made it before, but a long time ago. Do you know what's the crazy thing as well, guys? I literally, when I was picking up loads of um, seasoning and stuff from a, a shop near my house, because, you know, out here we don't really know 100% what's going on in these streets. But I pick, I saw the, the fried chicken, like, um, coating thing. And I was going to pick no, it up. No, that's cheating. Oh, that's cheating. You want to make your own? Okay. Ben said that he wants to make it. But I saw it. But the crazy thing is, I was saying to myself, ah, oh, um, no, I, do you know what it was? It was 99p, babe, but it was expired. It expired in June, and these people had it bare lined up in the shop. Especially about Bambi Buena. It expired in June. Okay, Ben's actually Googling how this works. We're going to do an easy one, because I was I cooked yesterday, but we had Popol. Shout out to Popol, who ate up the whole thing. He's going to be the friend, I know for a fact, he's going to be the friend that comes to the house and eats the whole fridge, and you have to replace it every time he comes. That was him yesterday, basically. But we love to see it. We appreciate him. He got us actually some stuff. So shout out to you for polls. Um, I need to wash these dishes. That's what I need to do. And he's really out here. Right, combine spices with flour, brown sugar, and salt. Brown sugar? We don't have brown sugar. Just regular no. sugar. 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 <laughs> um, dip the pieces in egg. Oh, in egg whites mm -hmm. to lightly coat them, mm -hmm. then transfer to the flour mixture. Turn a few times to make sure the flour is really stuck to the chicken. Repeat with the chicken pieces. Okay, cool. Let pieces to rest for five minutes till the crust is a chance to dry a little bit, and then pop us. Say no more. Did you see what spices are on there though? No. Aren't you the aggressive? 
But we do have a few spices though. We have plenty, but I don't we have, the But to be fair though, I still feel like our um, seasoning cupboard is still small. I'm still growing it as we go along. Look, look at how much seasoning we use. It's still small, but of course we've got our trusted, this needs to be up here. This is where the, all the babes confection, confectionaries, is that what it's called? extra flavor. I know what I'm doing. Do you know what you're doing? No. no. feeling quite negative when I woke up this morning because I had a bad dream so we had to pray that away um, and I woke up like just thinking about my car and the fact that someone really had the audacity to come outside my house and to take my car my whole car they didn't even not even like I wouldn't have even been too upset if it was like they smashed my window and I just had to get it repaired or whatever they just smashed it and they took stuff that was inside they took the whole entire car like in 2020 who does that so i woke up a little bit upset this morning a little bit frustrated but i cleaned got my girl, the girls up in the house because these girls be sleeping until god knows what time we cleaned up the house and now i'm literally just on my laptop i just had some scones for breakfast some scones you know some scones with some jam for breakfast i really should go to the gym like as in I really, really should go for a quick workout, but I'm not going to do that because one, I've got to sort out stuff for this car, so I've got to send in all these pe this paperwork. I've got to call, up, call my finance company because obviously my car was on finance, so I need to talk to them and let them know what's going on. 
three I need to finish um, doing my books because um, my accountant is probably at the point where he just wants to drag me at this point because I have not done my accounts and stuff so I'm about to sort that out so I can send it over and then he can file it and do the rest because it's gonna be due in a few days so I need to get my butt together and sort this out and my arm is hurting so I'm resting it but other than that though can I just say that my skin looks great my hair looks amazing knotless braids are the one because they're not heavy at all and i look like a buff babe i don't have any makeup so whatever it is what it is oh and also today well it's not Haley's birthday today but Haley's birthday is on tuesday so to celebrate she is having um like a party not a party what am i talking about she's having a celebration thing um what do you call it yeah she's having a little celebration thing um in um like a big picnic celebration thing so me and my sister she's invited both me and two of my sisters to go because she knows them we could all go really and truly but hey ho the other girls have other things that they want to do so yeah that's what the day is looking like for me and she is so blessed because the past couple of days the weather's been miserable it's been raining pretty much every day but the sun's out today so and it's a 90s theme 90s vibe so the knotless braids are gonna go with um my look and i'll show you guys my look a little bit later but yeah your girl is not gonna wear no makeup i don't care i'm going makeup less i'm going as i am take me as i am okay anyway Scottish. oh hey guys hi guys Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to yes. Guys, we're on our way to Haley Melinda. Haley Melinda. Haley Melinda. Haley Melinda. Haley Melinda. All right, everybody, advance. Forward. Oh no! Oh damn! You wanna go now? Oh no! Well damn! He's like suck him out of nowhere. That scared the life out of me. Like, you know, 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 Wait, how does the so, now? Why is Haley angry, fam? <laughs> <laughs> why is Haley angry? Wait, Haley, you need to come on this side because uh, we need to see you proper. Can you just come on this side for me? Oh, yes, come through. She goes by the name of the one and only, the presidential, the billionaire, trillionaire. She gets what gets money. She made it in this life. Miss Haley Melinda. Oi. <laughs> All right, so my name's Haley. Oh yeah, my gosh. I'm from CT. Yeah, I'm from E16. <laughs> and I make money. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, You're so annoying. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're such a mess. Oh. Oh. People, then, my battery's about to die. So, um, oh, I think it's fine. Girl. Be peace out, you know. My battery's always dying. Apologies. And someone stole my vlogging camera, which was in my car. So it has to be my phone for now. I don't want to hear no problem. Say hey, girl. Guys, she's looking. She looks so good. You guys must remember Mandy, right? You know, you know, you know. And she got the knotless braids too. Can we just say, like, hello? Gorgeous, fabulous. Hello. She's single. So, all the buff man them that are six foot five plus who are Christians, as in, not just say that they're Christians, but they know Jesus and have a relationship with him. Not <laughs> wow, did you hear Maury? She said, Not lukewarm Christians, Christian Christians. You know? <laughs> Make sure you give me a shout, okay? Because I'm trying to marry my girl off, okay? Thank you. I literally went, I was like, Okay, whatever. Don't know why he thought. He How are you? Morning. Good morning, babe. We're back for another week of vlogs. I've been really bad. I haven't vlogged this week. I just haven't been in the mood to vlog. Are you hungry? I am, you know. Great stuff, because I am too. Oh, good. 
so beautiful people um myself and ben actually just had breakfast his best friend is actually um here his best friend moses um is here at the moment so we all had breakfast together a oh, really good chat actually really really good chat i've never like sat down with um moses just to have a chat or whatever i'll probably introduce you to him a little bit later but for now i've gotten back into our soon to be our bed um for now it's actually just ben's bed but i'm in it's huge as you can see and i'm literally going to finish off everything else that i need to do from bed because your girl is actually feeling so tired i'm probably gonna end up having a nap in a bit but right now it's just time to get some work done that's what we need to do and i left my bags all over there so before i get comfortable grab my bags then get back in do some work got the power class program today so i've got to finish the presentation for that and i've got to sort out a couple of other things where are you moses you didn't make a a, a, a thingy in my vlog so huh? i thought let me add you so guys this is my best friend moses okay <laughs> When you see me, you see Moses. Apart from Nissi, that's just different, obviously. This is a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my best friend mm -hmm. in the whole wide world. In the whole wide world. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Moses. I'm from... <laughs> ben is really out here doing up <laughs> production. He is, though. He's the director. <laughs> Do you have a just in case you don't know, Ben is the right, director cool. of life. Guys, in the comment section, yeah? Who does my best friend look like? Who does Moses look like? Look like. like. Leave Put it in the comments. We'll just we'll read it to you afterwards. But yeah, hi guys. My name is Moses. Originally from Nigeria. Trying to Uruguay now. Speak it fluently. Don't know. They're normally demonic, but Moses is a. Hey, hey, hey! I didn't finish my sentence. I said that they're normally demonic, but Moses is an anomaly. he's like a praying man. A man of God, mm. and he also has his Congolese wife. Mm. Uh -huh. so you, you, you demons, you spirit of distractions, fire! <laughs> but yes, I'm originally from Nigeria, and um, but I live in Wales, so um, accents a bit all over the place. So um, yeah, but he's Welsh. A little bit. I said the longest place. That's why. Stop, 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 stop. You are the um, the long, the the <laughs> longest. No. The train station with the longest name yeah. in Wales is called And he's not even joking. He's not even joking. <laughs> That's the maddest thing. Yeah, he is man. not even joking. So guys, follow, subscribe down here, down Jeez. here, and all words. You know, all of it. It's a T and that. You know, raps, raps, raps. Yeah, Moses came and looked after take. my babes, which I'm always happy. Do, Whenever man. there's anyone that can come, look after my baby for a do, while. Man. I'm always happy keeping him some company while I'm not here. Instead of being in a Three bedroom apartment by myself. Good morning, beautiful people. Your girl is oh, I was hiding myself. Your girl is back in the cut. Yes, I am back. I had a meeting this morning, so I jumped straight onto a call this morning. Um, then I had another call with my PA, so we spoke over basically tasks that need to get done, things that need to be done. Um, and now I've got a few things that I need to sort out with. Um, Ben, just some like bills related stuff, you know, adulting and all that. Figuring out what we bought. We've got a spreadsheet. I love spreadsheets. I love making sure that everything is in a spreadsheet. And then um, Mandy is going to be making her way in a bit and we're going to be going to Ikea. Yeah, yeah, yes. To pick up more stuff. She basically is into interior design. Not even into, she's an interior designer. Um, she is into anything homes luxury she's got a business that she's going to be launching very very soon which i'm very excited about which we're actually helping her with in terms of the logo the branding all of that good stuff um so that should be launching very very soon and she's going to be helping us put this place together at the moment it's still very empty at the moment there's not that you know special pizzazz you know there's no cushions there's no there's just no pizzazz at the moment and that's what we need we need pizzazz so she's going to be helping us do that which i'm excited about so um we've come to ikea and look at what mandy's done she bought with her the cues of london <laughs> she bought with her the cues of london 
Guys, why are we in a queue to go into IKEA? Why you show me? Not to come out, but to go in. Okay, so just in case you're wondering why I'm super excited, it's because Mandy is an interior designer. Oh, gosh. And <laughs> one thousand. <laughs> I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. It will not flop in Jesus' name. That's another thing that I really want. She just was like, oh, I was like, I need one of these things. She said, what, a runner? And it's called a runner, guys. Are you actually filming this? Yes, I am. Because this is the whole interior design. So as I was saying, Mandy is an interior designer. She is sick. She's amazing. And she honestly knows how to, she just has an eye for like design and even clothes. Like, let's just check out the swag. Like, just pre, Mandy's just, I don't even know, bruv. Like, she's just paying. She's just paying. She's an artist. <sighs> anyway, guys. So, beautiful people, we're going to give you guys the update. So, Mandy, what is your review of this IKEA? IKEA has been very underwhelming. Mm -hmm. like, just nothing here. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we were so excited. We got ourselves geared up, got ourselves really gassed. And then we came, and then we were just like, it's not. I don't know if it's just this IKEA or, but it's been very, very underwhelming, guys. I don't know what happened, but we haven't picked up all the things that we want. And even when we get to the exit, I'm gonna have a look because I still don't even think that we're gonna get everything that, not even everything, but I don't know. Guys, this is work, you know. Trying to put together your own space. That's why people take months. I get it now. So, guys, it's time to see the damage as to how much this is all going to come up to. It's a bit pricey, isn't it? Live by yourself, they said. Get your own place, they said. Spend all this money, they said. All right, so, as you can see, we're still figuring things out, okay? We're not quite there yet, but we're figuring things out. One thing that I do want to do is I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, not even a friend, my brand new baby. This is a really exciting moment for me. The moment that I saw her, I just knew that she was just too cute to leave. I am officially the mother of a plant. We have a plant, guys, and it's a real plant that we're gonna have to go to and look after. As you can see, I think my plant was the best purchase. The plant was really the most beautiful purchase that we have going on here. Anyway, so we've got this beautiful, gorgeous mirror. Is the Stockholm mirror beautiful? We bought some frames which are going to be dotted around in different places. Don't worry, you're going to start seeing it together. These were actually on sale, they were in the bargain corner section. By the way, if you have not checked out any bargain corner in IKEA, make sure you do because they have some nice, cute bits in there. And it went down from I think it was like um nine pounds or maybe even more and it went down to six pounds thirty i bought two of them then we bought this frame now it came with the picture might change it but we've got a couple of these frames actually and this is going to be accompanied by these shelves that you'll probably catch me diying we're gonna have the shelves up on the wall like that bow bow and then frames We've got extra frames over here, as you can see. There's a frame on the floor. We've got three fla fra frames. Frames over here, all white. And they're all going to be, you know, basically just dotted around on these shelves. And then we've got, like, extra ornaments and stuff that we put on that we're going to be adding, like, little things like this. Like, a little bit of gold to add a bit of pizzazz, you know? A little bit of pizzazz to the space. We've also got these for the bathroom. I bought ones, but I'm gonna dash them because I literally just bought it for, for the sake of buying it, but I don't like them. So this is for bathroom number one. This one is for bathroom number two, with a little soap dispenser thing. And then we bought this for the shelf. And we've got a hanging plant, which Mandy found with her great eyes. Oh, there's the hanging plant. There we go, our beautiful hanging plant. And what we're going to do, I'll put you down over here. 